good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog this one is hopefully going to be a really wholesome um vlog that just is filled with a lot of things you guys have been asking about and i've been talking a lot about basically all about healthy habits and things that make me thrive so i'm really excited for this vlog and it's been a while since i filmed a vlog that kind of had a theme or you know like I was talking about something rather than just like my life in general but it is Friday today and I'm starting this vlog uh, because I have an appointment later that I'm excited to document and excited to start that process uh, but I thought that I would start this vlog with a little bit of a check-in and mental health update and kind of set the tone for the rest of the vlog because I'm hoping the clips from other days kind of I don't know, my mood starts to improve and the healthy habits that I'm talking about will kind of come into play and really serve their purpose. This past week that I'm coming out of has been a little bit rough mentally. Just starting multiple jobs, things ramping up, like a whole collection of things just in life all kind of happening at the same time. Um, and I was trying to just like do it all and be some superwoman that just can, you know, take on every commitment, help everyone out. And I was running myself really low this week and I definitely took on too much. And yeah, it just wasn't working for me. It was definitely overcomplicating my life. And I feel like that's one of my big, big problems is making everything a bigger deal than it is, taking on more things than are necessary. And that's the kind of phase that I'm in right now is trying to uncomplicate my life and take away things that aren't really serving me right now it just really wasn't manageable i've been so tired this week so flipping exhausted um and yesterday i had a mini meltdown and whenever i do have a bit of a, a moment that's kind of my key to change something like you know my emotions get too much for me and i'm just like okay this is your sign to make a change. A big trigger of mine that I've talked about before is uni. Uni is definitely intensifying quite a lot. I am coming into my six subject load overlap. So basically I've got three subjects now and I'm about to take on three more and over August and the end of this month they overlap and I've got six subjects. So that is a huge load. If you've been to uni, a normal load is four subjects. That's like a full-time load. Um, and yeah, they just overlap for a bit, which is going to be a little bit scary. I'm a little bit nervous for it. Um, but then after that, things should hopefully be a little bit more manageable in that I'll only have three subjects from like September onwards. I realized something last night. I was driving to Pavs and driving is always when I do my best thinking. And, um, I kind of realized that I have been focusing on an old version of myself. I've been focusing on a version of me that is long gone and I don't think I've wanted to accept that and that's something that I'm going to have to work on accepting and understanding but I feel like I'm in this new phase which is also really exciting that I'm figuring out who I am and what this version of me is like and I just feel like my values are changing the things that I want to be doing with my life are changing there's just so much change in myself that I yeah I've just kind of been ignoring I guess there's been so much life change in the past year in particular and I am still like basing off you know what I should be like or what my normal is as before all of that happened and all of those things that have happened to me this year have changed me and um, I've spoken about this in other videos too but like over the past six to twelve months I've lost friendships I've lost people in my life because I also think that that w was based off an old version of me I changed I wasn't as you know crazy and high energy all the time and didn't want to be doing all of those like you know crazy things and I feel like I am accepting that that old version is gone and there is a new version of Georgia and I need to accept that whether you know I feel a little bit sad because it's like I've always been known as the bubbly you know out there one you know I'm always I used to be really loud and always chatty and talking but I've definitely 
quieten down a little bit. Um, and I still think I'm a very bubbly person, but I just, I'm a very homely, I like having a good base. So yeah, basically this vlog is about facilitating that change and I hope to document this in the months coming forward and watch myself evolve and be able to look back at these videos as well and watch how I accept myself and how I find myself, I guess. That's a very cliche term, but like it was the biggest like wake up moment that I was like, that is exactly what's happened. You know, I'm still holding on to old me and that version of me doesn't exist anymore. We're changing, we're evolving, we're flourishing and that is so exciting. I shouldn't be so scared of that, but in the back of my mind, I am kind of, you know, don't change or, you know, people like the old you, so be the old you, but it's like, you're just being untrue to yourself. So yeah, nurturing my mental health a lot, lot more. I want to put more effort into developing these healthy habits that I've been talking about that make me feel good and facilitate me evolving into this new version of me. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to kind of touch base and after like having that realization last night, I was like, this, I feel like this is becoming the realization that I needed. So yeah, anyway, that was a lot. I am going to yoga now, um, which is another part of my movement healthy habit that I will talk about a little bit later, but slowing things down a little bit and listening to my body and not being so intense with training has really been a big theme for me the past couple of months um so yeah i'm gonna go to yoga now stretch everything out to end the week i might do a little walk before then as well i've got time <laughs> yeah just get my body moving calm myself down calm my nervous system down and then later this morning i'm going to my first naturopath appointment so i'll talk to you guys about that later Friday afternoon now. I have finished up uni for the day and I've just been doing some prep downstairs. I did prep dinner. I'm gonna make like roast veggie rice bowls for dinner. So that's really exciting. I had some fruit that needed to be used. So I made a fresh juice and watered my plants. So it's been a little bit of a wholesome hour, but um, I thought I would get on and update you guys about the naturopath today. Firstly, I loved it. <laughs> It was a really good experience also because I knew that I liked the naturopath like I know people who have been to her and whatnot so um, that made it a little bit easier but basically spent like an hour maybe even more than that just going over everything literally answering so many questions that like you know you don't even think of that could impact your health and yeah just kind of took like an all-round view of what's been happening with me and kind of just confirmed a lot of things that I figured um, were going on with me anyway. Um, but it was so eye-opening. There was just so much stuff. Like I wish I could tell you guys everything, but basically my body is super, super inflamed, um, holding on to a lot of water. I'm very bloated. My digestive system isn't working as well as it should be and it's not absorbing the nutrients that it needs to so i've got a lot of things to fix um i also have a lot of gut problems which i figured anyway but yeah we're gonna try and heal my gut sort that out see what's going on i also have to go get some bloods done on a few extra things just so she can see where i'm at in a few areas um and then work out where to go because it was very, very complex. Like I must have been such a complex <laughs> person for her because there was so many things that she was like, we need to fix this, we need to fix this. I feel like there's a little bit of hope, I think, um, because I've just been feeling so crap <laughs> for like the past year in particular. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to working on that like i'm really committed to working on myself she told me too that i am deficient in magnesium which is interesting as well um learned a lot today too about like supplements and i guess just your body in general it was very very eye-opening but overall my body is in fight or flight mode constantly and it's like stuck there so 
um, I need to de-stress my body, which I figured anyway. Um, and it's, yeah, basically just my body un under constant stress and my cortisol levels through the roof. But yeah, really not, not good and not good for your health. Um, and like so many processes in my body are copying it because of that. So something I really want to fix. Um, she basically just was like, your cup is so full. You are spilling over the edges at the moment. That's exactly how I've been feeling and why I've been so upset because that's how I felt. And I knew that, but I struggle to say no to people. I also struggle to take away things from my life, I guess, um, and simplify it because I guess in a way, sometimes I'm scared of like looking lazy or like feel like I need to be doing something all the time. But right now my body just needs some rest. There's a lot of stuff going on. So basically at the moment, I just have like a gut drink that I have to take um, at the end of the day, like before I go to bed. But yeah, that's kind of the update on my naturopath appointment. Um, I have another one in a couple of weeks after I go back to my GP, get some bloods done and yeah. We work out where we're at from there and see what my body is currently doing because the bloods that we were like analyzing were from the beginning of the year but anyway that's my experience i'm just really looking forward to improving in so many areas there's a lot of work to do <laughs> guys it is monday today it's a brand new week having a really intentional start to the day and going through my healthy habits that i like to do to set up my morning in light of this vlog i am going to talk through just a few of them but this week in particular i'm getting back into my meditation find if i don't meditate first thing in the morning like if i don't make time for it as soon as i get up i tend not to do it so i made that habit this morning and as soon as i woke up i did my meditation i have been using the app insight timer it looks like this you guys have probably heard of it before if you do meditate um i've used a few different ones but this is my favorite at the moment i'm really liking kate james at the moment i find her ease into the meditations really lovely so i did 11 minutes of meditation this morning which was one of my biggest healthy habits to keep up to track my healthy habits i do use the habit tracker from beck stewart you guys have also probably seen this on instagram but basically it's just a little habit tracker where you can write down your habits and goals on the side and then tick them off um, when you do them. It's got like the days of the month at the top. And I just like to highlight mine so I can kind of see almost like a graph what I'm doing well and what I need to work on. And I have journaled this morning. Go me. So yeah, things like movement each day, meditation, two plus liters of water, journaling. I also added on here reading before bed because I am trying to get back into the habit of doing that. I had a book sitting beside my bed that I just like wasn't vibing. And I thought, let's put it away. Let's get another book and come back to it some other time. So I picked another book and hopefully I get a little bit more into that one. But yeah, it is Monday today. I am going to a Pilates class this morning. I want to try and get some steps in as well before the class. So I'm going to go a little bit earlier today. I just have study to do and then I am working this afternoon. So that's my Monday. This morning I'm going to wrap up Pav's presents. His birthday is on Sunday this week but Friday night my family are having a little birthday dinner for him here um, and we're going to give him his presents then. I just thought it's one last thing I have to worry about later in the week. So I'm going to write on his card as well and then wrap his presents. I'll show you guys what I got him as well because this will be going up after his birthday. I don't know why I always get him pajamas but he just I don't know. When we first started dating, he didn't even own pajamas. So I got him some Peter Alexander pajamas. This is just like a brown top. Really cute and obviously really good quality. And it goes with the shorts that I got him. They like match. They match mine. How cute. <laughs> but he always seems to wear shorts. So I got him that. I got him some like packing cubes um, for like when he travels. I think there's there's a couple in there just to organize stuff in his suitcase because he was complaining on his last overseas trip that he had like just stuff everywhere and it wasn't organized. So 
thought that might help him. I kind of don't want to get it all out, but you guys can kind of see it's like a men's satchel, like a work satchel, uh, because he has an office job. And when he first got his office job, he has a backpack that he takes to work, but he was talking about getting a satchel and this is one that I showed him um, and he was like, oh no, that's too expensive. So I ended up getting it for his birthday and my family put in as well and we got him this really beautiful leather satchel that I think he's forgotten about, but he really wanted it when he first started work. And I think it's a good size. And then last thing I've already put in the bag, but I just got him like a big training bag, like a Nike gym bag, but he uses that for handball. And a couple of weekends ago when we went to a competition, he was complaining his wasn't big enough and it looks like it's falling apart. So I thought a brand new one would be a good idea. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap those, get his presents sorted and off my bed. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully we have a really productive Monday. <laughs> Hello guys, it is Thursday today and I was planning on editing off the vlog today because I had a psychologist session this morning and I wanted to kind of like incorporate that as it's a big part of my healthy habits and evolving and really working on some key areas that I have really struggled with for the past two or so years since the sea dog. Um, but I was planning on like filming some I don't know, more evolved clips, but yeah, honestly, the end of this week has been just madness. It's been another very busy week, but I did want to incorporate, yeah, a little bit about my psychologist session because they have been so, so helpful and have been a really big game changer for me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The power of your mind and your mindset is huge. It impacts on everything. Um, so if you've been putting it off or you know, you don't really know where to start. Here is your sign to make the first bold step because it's very courageous. I think it deserves a lot more merit. Basically, we were talking a bit about like my panic attacks and stuff because I had a panic attack last Thursday, I think. Um, and I haven't had too many, but I definitely know what they're like now. And they're pretty scary. Unpacked that a little bit and then talked about being a highly emotive person. Um, and yeah being a little bit more sensitive i'm far more sensitive now than i was a couple of years ago which is just from my high anxiety and yeah we talked about it and my psychologist is really good at making you feel normal i feel like in society everyone is so judgy like oh you're too sensitive you're too this you're too that and it's really refreshing to go to a psychologist who knows what they're talking about to explain it to you so you understand what's going on. Yeah, she just does it in such a good way. I have a very, very good psychologist and one of my biggest blessings at the moment, having a good psychologist like that. Yeah, today's session was pretty good. We also did like a meditation practice where we focused on um, kind of like sitting with uncomfortable feelings, which was really interesting as well. Anyway, I have a busy afternoon of uni work. I have been go, go, go all day and I still have another appointment later this afternoon and then I'm going to visit my grandma briefly for her birthday. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the vibe of this vlog. I definitely want to continue this going forward and share some of these types of things with you and maybe incorporate them in other ways as well like some routine videos and stuff like that but i hope you guys are all staying safe and looking after yourselves there's a lot of sickness going around so yeah make sure you are looking after your health and i will talk to you in another video very soon bye guys